Good day, YouTube. Today I want to talk about my personal challenge, and that is over the last three weeks, I've noticed my stress level go up over small things, minute things. Not big stressors in life, it's small things, but here's the thing, I'm letting those things get to me. That is my personal challenge. I'm not talking about that, but the reason I talk about that with you is because I want to put myself accountable by sharing this information and reminding myself as needed. I am at Fort Carson right now in Colorado Springs. It's, it's a Sunday and I've caught myself that lately I've been stressing out over small things and maybe even my wife has noticed that. Actually, there is not a maybe, there is yes, she's noticed it. So I have to hold myself accountable. I like to help people and that's one of the strengths that I have, but I have to help myself also. I have to walk that talk. I'm the type of person that likes to do things sooner rather than later and structure and discipline. I like all that. That's not a negative thing in my eyes, but I can't take it to the point where it is unhealthy because then I could die of a heart attack. And that's what I've been noticing lately is I've been stressing out over these things. Over the last four months with my cable company at home, I've had to be on the phone with them for 40 minutes. They can't get the programming right or they can't get the billing right. Four months in a row. I finally cut ties with them this week. Then my wife's cell phone is a brand new phone we got less than a week ago and it's already acting up. It's not the cell phone, it is the service providers. Maybe it's the tower. We can't figure that out. And then I went for an oil change today and get my tires rotated to save some time and they were closed. But I caught myself. I went home and I told my wife, I need your help. I need to share something with you. And that is maybe you've noticed I've been on edge lately and I've, I've, uh, I'm a work in progress just like everybody else. And I said, I've come a long way, but I don't want to take a step backward because life is too good for that. And it shouldn't be that way, especially on a weekend when it's time to be home, time to do things with my wife. And we've had a great weekend so far. So when I talk to other people, I say, hey, here's what you can do differently. Here's how you can think differently. Here's how you can act differently. I'm in that same boat as well. I have to be able to do that. I have to be able to catch myself. All of us are human. So all of us have a challenge that we deal with or challenges. It could be a big thing, it could be a small thing, but a challenge is a challenge. It's, it's part of life, just like celebrations. I'm a very optimistic person, but I'm a human just like everybody else, and therefore I have to take a moment like this, put myself on the spot, not in a bad way, but in a way that I can remind myself, stay grounded, have that vision, work towards whatever I have to work, and the next time I have an inconvenience or a challenge, I can actually brush it off. It's kind of like this, like YouTube comments. At the beginning, I needed to develop thick skin because there are going to be people that disagree with me and that's normal. I have to know that first of all. I'm putting myself out there. So don't take the personal comments, especially the negative ones, personally. And I've come a long way. That's what I wanted to talk about. Let me show you this beautiful place, for Carson. And uh, like I said, I went to the, to the gym. I ran two miles. I feel great. Now it's time to go home. But look at what's on the other side. Have a great day. That's Cheyenne Mountain over there. Take care.